Okay, so I've got a mission for today. And I'm in the middle of it, and it's very frustrating. Kati's picking up blocks. We had to move it inside. So, winter's here. My bike tires aren't gonna work. So I got some studded bike tires. But, we're getting off the old ones, and it sucks. Okay, so I got one side off, but there's some like sort of glue here. I've even used like a screwdriver, which is not advisable, and it dinged the, uh, the rim, these things. But it's not coming off. This process started outside, but the rain came, so that added to the frustration levels. And now, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Here, here it's on the tape. Yes, yeah, it's on the tape for sure. So maybe I try in a place where it's not on the tape. Yeah, it's like the tape is like, I feel like the tape is like up under there. <laughs> it's totally the tape. It's like, yeah. So it's totally the tape here. It's like butted up against mm -hmm. the inside of the tire. Mm -hmm. You can see it bunching. Yeah. And now I'm pushing, everything I've been doing yeah. is like pushing the tape in, so. Maybe I can get the tape out and that'll cause, fix the jam. Yeah. Ah. I don't know if a knife is advisable, but it seems like it might come off easy. <laughs> regular part of the rim, it's just under the tire. Ugh. Okay, so the tape's off. Let's try it with this thing again. Okay, so, worked it around. See all these, all the stringies from the leftover, that tape. So the, yeah, the tape glue really just worked itself in there and was keeping the bead from coming out. Just left all this residue here. And that was kind of keeping the tire in there even when I got the rim tape out. But with, with the rim tape in there, I was like having to push, scrunch the tape over. It peeled out easily from the top, but it didn't want to scrunch. Okay, so it's off. Woo, let's put the new one on. In the meantime, Kati was uh, busy organizing. Okay, now I gotta go get the uh, tube tire and pump. It's raining. Okay, so I got the tire, got all the stuff. Now I need to replace the rim tape, but the question is, can I just use electrical tape, which I'm pretty sure I've heard before, but I need to do a little research. Okay, so electrical tape is not gonna work apparently, but they said one inch Gorilla Tape, which I got right here, is perfect. So let's strap it on. Okay, just clearing all the uh, 
little strands off the wheel. Okay, tapes up. Let's just set it. The holes are a little offset. I don't want to get it too tight to the, to the rim lip. Uh, so we don't have the same problem on the new wheel. I guess we just Okay, so next stage, here for the big boy. Check out those studs, big time. 300 studs for optimal grip. Okay, let's get one side. One's on, boop, easy. Now for the tube, shit. Okay, gotta poke a tube hole, but. Oh shit. <laughs> well, I need a teeny patch. I did that one. One over. Mistakes, mistakes. Big screwdriver. Okay, that's set. Now let's get the tube in there. Insert. And let's work it around. I guess. Make sure it's all in there. Let's start getting this rim on. All right, let's get it up here with a little more light. And start working it on. Oh yeah. Maybe we don't even need it. Let's put the locking nut back on. Okay, so slowly pumping, letting the air press the bead against the rim, checking for Weird spots. Okay, we'll do it at 20 PSI. All right, so now it's time to take the front tire out and get the back tire off the bike, which could be its whole other kerfuffle. But I did realize that there was like a rotation direction on the tire. I'm pretty sure I lucked out and got it the right way. But we'll see. All right, we made it to the bike shed. Time to get to work. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, after the shop's all figured out, or I should say the workbench in the house, this is the next project. Okay, first step, let's get this front wheel in. And hope the rotation direction's right. Get that, and da, da, da. there we go, it's settled in. All right, get this one, push it through, I think. Oh yeah, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Rotation, how do you bike? Oh, like that, that's how you bike. Rotation direction, all good. Okay, next step, let's get this back wheel off. Oh shit. So that's three inches. The front wheel is 3.6, so definitely taller. But width-wise, maybe, maybe not a big deal. I don't know, I'm just gonna risk it. Oh God.
Okay, I finally got it off. And I'm going to flip it back over, take the wheel off. Little cassette clean. Okay, we're getting this part off. Okay, so fast forward. Tires on the bike. It fits. Real close, but it fits. So, I'm gonna go take it for a test. The manufacturer recommends riding it for like 50 miles on pavement before you get any sort of gnar on it. Fast acceleration and deceleration. But uh, yeah, so now I'm just gonna cruise around. I've gotta do a trash run a day, but I wanna see what it feels like. Test drive. Okay, so test ride success. Everything fits. Kind of makes a little noise while you're going. So now I'm gonna cruise around for as long as I can before I get on some ice and snow and then go skiing with my.